Hello and welcome to the Guilford Public Library. Thank you so much for joining us for STEAM Challenge Monday. Today's challenge is to build a tower using index cards and it's gonna be fun for every child in your house because they will definitely be challenged but still have fun while using just the materials that you give them. So like I said, today you will need index cards and what you're going to do is first take your flat index card and you're going to fold them in half. And please fold a lot of them because your people at home are going to love and need these folded pieces. And what you're gonna explain to them is that they are not allowed to use any tape or any glue and just use the folded cards and the flat cards and the object of this challenge is to build the tallest tower that they can make. It would be helpful to explain that there are levels or stories to each tower. For instance, this bottom one would be story one, story two, story three, so on and so forth. Let them work for a little while and then come back to see some more. How did you do? This is the perfect time to start critically thinking. And let's talk design. Let's talk about what worked. Ask your child, what worked best for them? What didn't work and why? And let's talk about those shapes. Most likely, your child chose to do a box shape, which is taking both halves of an index card and making a box shape and perhaps stacking that way? Or did they choose to have an X shape or perhaps a T shape or an M or W or maybe even a diamond? This is a great opportunity to explore different options on how tall can they get that tower using either a single design or just uh, a combination, or maybe just their favorite one or something different. Maybe they decided um, to do something like this. How fun. Still, they are having a lot of fun and thinking. Wow, that is tall. And we experimented here with doing different shapes as we discussed in different designs and I bet that we really could have gone super, super high with this challenge. Now here is challenge number three. You will need just 12 index cards and a pair of scissors. <clears throat> Again, there's not gonna be any use of glue or tape. And what you can do is challenge yourself. How tall can your tower go with just using these index cards? But it is a little different now because we have added scissors. Here's a great idea. Let's split them in half. And then the child can either roll and it is going to be a challenge, and that's okay. They can roll their index cards whoop, and stack. Or you can use that same concept of splitting the index cards in half, taking scissors and cutting, making two slits, one here and one here, or pretty much anywhere that they would like and see how tall their tower could be. So after you make slits, you insert the other piece that you cut and you do it on the same, you do the same on the other side. And voila, I have a nice sturdy base and you can continue moving on and remember, you only have 12, so this is gonna be a huge challenge. 
I think this is a wonderful challenge for kids because they would absolutely love to experiment. And most importantly, they would like to really challenge themselves to see how tall their tower can go. The last choice that I did not discuss is to take a index card and fold it in half. And then you can fold it in half again and make some slits at the end here and here. And when you open, you'll have this crease in the middle. And when you fold and use those slits, you now have a triangle base. And this can also serve as a pillar to build your tower. I really had fun doing this challenge and again have have this challenge with your children or your child and have the great discussion on what worked for them what worked best what didn't work why did it work why didn't it work what combination did you use what combination did you like the best and then i would love to see your results will your tower look more like this or will they be more creative and have a pyramid look? I don't know. We would love to see your creations. Have a wonderful day.